Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do a quick unboxing of two bags that I purchased in the most recent fossil sale. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So these are, like I said, two bags that I purchased from Fossil in a recent sale. Uh, the sale was like an extra 40% off sale items. I think both of these are actually Fossil outlet bags, but I could still get the 40% off of them. So you have the nice like Fossil packaging. I do like their boxes a lot. You know, it it's, opens up and it's branded. Um, minimal packaging on the inside, just like one <laughs> little bit of paper. And then this is um, like the receipt and return label. So just starting with the first one. Now I do think I'm going to return one of these, although let's see if I have enough self-control to do that. Um, so this is the first one. This is the Farrah crossbody in the medium brown color. You can kind of start to see what it looks like and I will unwrap it. All right, so this is what it looks like. It is a crossbody, that's the crossbody strap in there. You do have a front slip pocket here. Um, that would be great for a phone. And then you also have a zipped pocket here. And then on the back, there's nothing. It's just plain. Um, I thought this would be really good because I am currently uh, kind of going back to the office. So when I'm on the train, it's nice to have a spot to put my phone and a spot to put my work ID um, that are like kind of easy access. And then everything else is just super secure in a zipped compartment on the top. Um, so this bag I got for $45. The original price is 150 although I think like I said this is an outlet bag so you can see it says like style it doesn't actually say $150 price it is fossils eco leather which I believe is just like a more sustainable leather it's not like vegan or anything um it's just more sustainable you have this long pull um I think this is a good size bag for commuting um and I think maybe I'll unwrap the handle all right, so this is the handle, and so the main thing I wanted to check was to see whether it was one of Fossil's infinity straps or if it was like a buckle like this, and it is a buckle. It looks kind of long, the strap, to be honest, so I'll put it on and see how long it feels. Yeah, so even on the shortest setting, this does feel long. I'm 5'1", so I'm not, you know, not tall by any means, but this does hit me like below my hips, which is not the most comfortable place for a crossbody bag to hit, so... Now I'm kind of on the fence. I do like the way this bag looks. It does look very functional. You have, you know, like I said, that front slip pocket and that zipper. So uh, we'll think about that. It was $45, so that's like a pretty good steal for, you know, a classic leather bag. So next we have the next bag here. This is a black bag. This is the Fossil Jasmine crossbody in the black color. You can start to see it has like a nice turn lock detail. I really like this. Um, so again, I will unwrap it. All right, so that is what the bag looks like outside of the plastic. You do have a back slip pocket here, um, and then you have a front turn lock. The turn lock is a little small. I don't know, that's a little fiddly. Um, if I was trying to do it like quickly or I had gloves on or something. And then if you open it up, that's what the inside looks like. The leather does look, you know, a little wrinkly and whatnot. And if you smell the bag, the bag smells very, like not like leather i guess it smells very like chemically and again this strap is not their infinity strap it is the strap that has like the individual like buckle with the holes um so i'm going to try this on and see if it's so long okay so yeah again when i put this on the shortest setting it is still pretty long for me because i am 5'1 um you know what this smells like actually this smells like when you get new sneakers um that like kind of new rubbery smell almost which is like not the best to smell for what you want to be a leather bag um but if i open it up this does have like a very similar layout to something like the pochette matisse i think where you have um like two compartments here and then a well i guess this is not really that similar to the pochette matisse because you have this like interior zip pocket which i don't think it has one thing i was not expecting and i'm surprised to see is that it does have card slots on the inside so that's interesting. I think this is a big enough bag that I honestly would never use those. Um, and then the zipped compartment does go down to the very bottom of the bag. So like if you have stuff in this compartment, it's not going to like slip over to that compartment. So when I close it, um, 
I mean, it does look like a very nice bag. It's a unique style, and there's, you know, very uh, few reviews of this bag. Actually, there's no reviews of this bag on the internet, so this will be kind of like the first look, I think, on YouTube. Um, but uh, the strap is a bit long. That's really the only thing holding me back for this, so I don't know if that would start to get annoying. Um, and if you're curious about the eco leather, uh, it is, like I said, real leather, but it's sourced from tanneries that are certified by the Leather Working Group. But it does smell like, not like leather, I guess. Uh, it's potentially, I don't know, maybe this smell is like uh, chrome tanned leather, which is I think more of a chemical tanning process versus vegetable tanned leather, which is um, like more natural. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but... Um, I got this bag for $54, and it, the like style price is $180. Again, this is an outlet bag, so it's never sold for $180. Um, it does look like a nice bag, but I guess, you know, for me, the two things I'm worried about are this clasp seems a little bit small. Like, I would hope it's also, I can't turn it, there we go. It seems like it might be hard to do because it's so itty bitty. Um, and then the other thing is the strap length. So... I will play around with these bags and see which one I'm going to keep, or both. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.